Hi there, this is John from cncking.com and today we'll talk about support material for your 3D printer. Last week I printed a whole bunch of new 3D printing projects that I want to have on cncking.com. Uh, these ones are all from Noe and I noticed I have a few problems with them. Again, there's nothing wrong with the model or the printer itself. It's because of the environment. I have uh, two sets of very hot lights on the printer itself. And there's not much air circulation inside the home here. And the environment already here in Perth is very, very hot. So that caused a lot of trouble with my support material. Basically, what was happening is, as it was printing, the support material was melting back into the model. Now, I thought I'd solve that with a grinder, as you'll see later on in the video. Uh, but it actually made it look worse. So let's look at a few close-up shots first, and then we'll follow from there. Hope you enjoyed that video of me grinding these little models up. As you can see on this one here, it came out not bad. Uh, the size was about right. Uh, as you can notice around the edges of the mouth and the hands, I was able to grind out a lot of the support material. It came out pretty well. Uh, where I had trouble was uh, on the edges where it was just too close and it melted back into the model. As you can see, this red model here came out not bad. Um, the grinder screwed up the eye sockets. Again, it's too large. Uh, but generally for this one, the support material wasn't too much of an issue as it was for the previous one. I saved the worst for last. This model here is far too small uh, to be 3D printed. I made it small on purpose because I was running out of material in the cartridge and I can't stop midstream and change the cartridge uh, with this 3D Systems Cube extrusion 3D printer. Uh, and the other issue I had was that the grinder was just too large. So looking at the eye sockets and the nose and the mouth and even the fingers, uh, the, the grinder was just melting the material off. It wasn't actually grinding anything away. In my case, the solution to all of these problems is pretty straightforward. I just need to set up a fan uh, going across the model and the 3D printer while it's printing. Another solution would be to have a multi-head 3D printer. Uh, 3D Systems has a Cube X, and the nice thing about it is you can print the model in two different materials. So one could be PLA, like what I use here, and another one could be a supporting material that very, that's very easy to dissolve. Come on, baby girl, let's get it going on. I'ma hit the highway and do it my way. It ain't no game, girl, so I don't play games. I keep it up straight, right up in your face. So make your mind up, cause life is too short. I got the best on, boy, put your belt on. Stop acting all cool, like can't you wait for you? You're riding through the wire, and the time I get by, you don't want that, no. I don't want that, no. Kiss goes up, you some chicks, so slow, slow. Hit the backseat when you're doing the licking, kissing, squishing, do the damn thing, man.